Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. We are going to be talking about what I did to prevent resource guarding in both my Kani Corsos, Dante and Peach. Before I start off, I want to preface that if you are having a dog with severe behavioral issues regarding resource guarding, you need to go find a trainer. This video is to prevent resource guarding. If you are already having that issue, you need to find somebody. It's a very serious issue. You need to find a professional. Before we get this video started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I'm very happy that we've reached 13K. We'd love to reach 100K. So if you guys can subscribe, I would really appreciate that. If you could share this video, comment, all of that stuff helps our channel. It keeps us going. So I really appreciate if you do that. Uh, resource guarding is a prevalent issue within the canine community and when it comes to big powerful dog breeds it is an especially concerning thing. The first thing that I did with my dogs is really instill in their little puppy dog brains that they don't get anything if it's not through me and that they're not entitled to anything. The problem with resource guarding is that dog for whatever reason thinks that that resource is limited and that they have to fend, fend for it. You know, they have to fight off anybody who tries to take that away from them. So the, there is a, a sense of, hey, this is mine and I will fight for it. So to nip that in the butt with my dogs, we made sure that they don't think anything is theirs. How did we instill this, do you ask? Well, from the day that Dante and Peach walked in, everything was obedience. So as soon as they learned how to put their little tushy down and do a sit, they sat for everything. They worked for everything, whether it was getting pet, whether it was going on the couch, whether it was coming on the bed with us, um, you know, not only their food, whether they wanted a particular toy from their toy bin, anything that they could work for, they did. So that is something that we did from very, very early on because of what I mentioned before. We wanted them to understand that everything that they have is because we give it to them. And if they want something, they need to work for it. The second thing that I did to prevent resource guarding in my dogs is teach them the command, drop it. Um, I know that the, their breeder, Jen, she actually taught her kind of courses the word out instead of drop it because she said that if you have a little kid around and you know they're playing with the dog the dog accidentally like like might nip the kid or something like that then naturally a little kid is gonna say ow and it sounds a lot like out so like they can you know dr drop it or release um, right away so I thought that was really cool um, I didn't I mean I learned that after I had gotten Dante and Peach but I think it's a really great suggestion so um, shout out to Jen for that, but we taught Dante and Peach drop it. And what this does is it comes in very handy when your dog grabs something they're not supposed to. So Dante is a food snatcher and teaching him drop it really came in handy because if your dog is to get something and you're trying to reach to go get it and they start like growling or something, if they know the command drop it, that is something that is very helpful. Last thing that I did to prevent resource guarding is to get Dante and Peach accustomed to me being around them while they're eating. So when there were puppies, I would, you know, have our little routine that I would make them sit, wait for their food, then release to eat it. And then I would just, you know, practice like putting my hand in there while they were puppies, you know, because they're little. So you can take advantage of that, you know, that they're still very um, sensitive to verbal correction and there's you know they're just puppies so you have to take advantage of them being small when you can because when they're larger it gets harder I would just get them very accustomed to me being around them you know I would just practice like putting their bowl down and then while they're eating it just grabbing it and taking it away just for a little bit not taking it away and like leaving it away not letting them eat just like a couple of seconds then putting it back and putting my hand there, shaking it around. Um, that is something that I practiced so with them. I know that some people feel very strongly about this. Like they say, why should you even, you know, approach the dog while it's eating? Um, but for me, I think that that is, what I'm building there is trust because I'm not grabbing their food and taking it away from them. I'm just like grabbing it and then putting it back. I'm never going to prevent them from eating, you know? So. I think that from my personal experience that really helped my dogs a lot 
because they understood that me approaching them didn't mean something bad it didn't mean that they weren't gonna get their food on the contrary I might just like add something else in there those are the three things that I did with my honey corsos since they were very little puppies and they've never had an issue with three shirts guarding over their food I hope that this video was helpful for you guys or for any other um, future kind of Corsa owners or any other dog really um, and if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and comment if you're interested in checking out our merch the link is in the description we have a lot of cute things available we have little crew necks t-shirts all that stuff and see you guys later bye